Welcome to Mazda Creek Vids. In this video, I'm going to be cold starting a small diesel engine using a uh, method suggested by 1997 CR80R. Um, in a uh, previous video, you'll see where I only had 6.6 .6 hours on a uh, similar engine. This is actually a di different engine, uh, but on that engine, I tried cold starting it using ether and uh, pretty sure by doing so I broke a piston. Uh, you can watch that video uh, to see what happened. It is uh, 17 degrees outside and we're gonna see if this bad boy will uh, start up. Not overly hopeful. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna use the uh, decompression lever We'll turn the fuel up about a quarter throttle and use the decompressor level just lever hold it down and we'll pull it about four or five times and then we'll see what happens here i'm trying to go ahead and start it without uh preheating the intake as suggested these things have started uh fairly well at about 32 degrees fahrenheit for warmer without uh any aid in starting Okay, I said one of the guys on the forum is actually the, on my last little diesel engine post where I may have uh, messed up my engine using ether. So we can take a torch and uh, heat this intake up some, which I absolutely see where he's coming from. I get a 10 millimeter wrench. Right. Thing about it, not too concerned about dust. Now my other engine, the one that actually has the uh, bad, uh, the piston that I cracked, it has a plastic intake. So that, this process will not work on it. Is that rubber? Okay, there is a rubber gasket in the bottom of this intake. Pay, uh, that by heating it up, I'm definitely going to want to pull out of there. There it is. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure once I warm it up, if it runs, and I, I really, I have a feeling this will work. Like I said, my other one, I can't do this on. Using an open flame in the intake of an engine, I'm pretty sure violates all safety procedures. Do this at your own risk. In the future, I am going to get uh, something to hold the uh, decompression lever open so I can spin the engine and allow the uh, hot air to flow all the way through the engine. And uh, I believe this will actually make it start uh, much easier whenever I do that. I also uh, heated the intake quite a bit longer than what you see on the video. There appears to be a couple of variations of this uh, 168 engine. Um, this one has the uh, metal intake and also has a, uh, the fuel pump is attached to the back cover of the engine. On the uh, other engine, the one that has the cracked piston that I'm waiting uh, to get shipped to me, it has a plastic intake and the fuel pump is actually uh, installed in the uh, engine case not on the back cover another thing I noticed about this uh, engine it appears to have been better assembled than the uh, one that came in that had the plastic intake um, whenever I checked the uh, head bolts they were all equally tight on this engine the uh, fuel injector was tight as well as the uh, all the back covers uh, were all tight on the other engine the uh, 
bolt tight tightening was all over the place on that thing some were fairly loose some were tight uh, so the, the build quality was definitely better on this particular engine it's 17 degrees Fahrenheit the log splitter sure is cycling slow it wound up taking about 15 to 20 minutes of uh, use for it to uh, actually cycle at its normal full speed pace I guess that uh, hydraulic fluid was a uh, little thicker than normal if that piston uh, comes in and fits correctly I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the uh, metal intake uh, for that other engine because I'm pretty sure that I want to use the uh, heating method to uh, cold start it whenever necessary which means I need to get rid of the uh, plastic intake on that thing I only have about an hour of runtime uh, on this engine so far and it also does appear to run a little bit smoother than the uh, the other model as soon as the uh, piston comes in for the one that has the 6.6 .6 hours on it I'm gonna reinstall the piston and that uh, engine will go back onto the log splitter because uh, I want to work that one to see if uh, it fails or anything especially after that piston broke which I'm, I'm still pretty positive that uh, I did that with starting fluid I really uh, hope you guys enjoy this video I look forward to uh, making some more in the uh, near future thank you guys for watching